guess. Sure. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm Tom Wool, um, Gordon Wool, um, the uh, part of the third generation uh, in the family business with my brother Steele here, and I also work with my sister Rally um, as owners and operators, and we have an, another sister Tiger who's an um, owner and an operator in the third generation. But Gordy uh, was our grandfather, started our business back in uh, 1955. Um, actually it was an automobile business and uh, came up to the lake like a lot of people and just enjoyed the lake life and um, ended up uh, telling our grandmother Jean that hey I'm not going back to Illinois I'm gonna stay up here at the lake and Jean said well Gordy what are you gonna do and he said the first thing to do is buy a boat so he did he bought a, uh, a bought a boat and um, started giving boat rides for a dollar ride they called it a millionaire's thrill for one thin bell and that was his tagline so for a dollar you could get the experience of a millionaire on the water and that's really what what started the business and, uh, and even today we're still um, renting boats and uh, allowing people to have that uh, great experience on the water. So that's what started it. Gordy had two sons, Tom and Jamie, passed it down to the second generation who uh, had an opportunity to grow the business. And uh, now we're in the third. Uh, this will be our 62nd summer coming up here. So uh, very fortunate to be on the shores of beautiful Lake Geneva here and uh, um, just having a, a great time uh, in, in the boat business. You know, as we know in, the, in times, uh, there, you have to be able to adapt. And so because times change and what you did before may not be working now. So um, things change, times change, and you have to be able to adapt. So you look at your processes and say, okay, just because we've done that way, you know, doesn't mean we have to keep doing it. Is there a better way? Like Riley was saying, and I think forcing yourself to have to look at your processes on paper and say, okay, really that worked before, but we're not doing it that way now. Or there's a better way. So let's adapt and let's get better and that it keeps driving that constant never ending improvement uh, there's always a better way to uh, to try to do something and be more efficient and streamlined so uh, it really creates that habit of forcing yourself to have to do that um, and we've been a part of it since the beginning and i think it's a great exercise to keep you know having that pattern over years that really it isn't one thing there isn't a magic bullet it's just the, the repetition of that habit of forcing to do that process that really makes you better over a long period of time